Welcome to the two-factor authentication with YubiKey on your Mac. We're going to go straight into the demo. We set it to uh, not require user input, just like it says in the guide. So you don't have to press the button. So here we have the YubiKey installed. I'm going to remove it. Then I'm going to type in the password for this computer. See, it doesn't take without the YubiKey. And we'll put the YubiKey back in. We'll just press enter. And we can get into the Mac. So that's two factor authentication. You can see that this is set up um, for additional things such as. Um, the set user command and the sudo command so we'll try this again the key removed you can see on the bottom window here we scrolled by pretty fast that uh, there's no yubikey present so the password passed without the yubikey present it got rejected. So now with the YubiKey back in, we'll try sudo, which uses a different PAM config file. And that worked only because I already had sudo applied. So I used the minus K to kill my session. The extra K there is not necessary. Just need to scroll up a little bit faster. And you can see once again with the key removed that there, um, you know, without the key present, you can't authenticate. Now, the Yubi Company, the, I'm sorry, Yubico Company recommends that you uncheck that require user input button. But I like to check it. Because it means not only do you have to have the key inserted, you must also press the keys button to log in. So you can see the light blinking because it's querying the YubiKey, letting you know it needs to be pressed. This serves as a nice visual indicator that someone's trying to log in. And so with the press of the key, we log into the Mac. So of course, I'm going to do some of the same tests here with services. I'm sorry I didn't demo with this video doing normal Mac stuff where the graphical challenge comes up on the screen. But if you follow the YubiKey guide, just as they, they do, you'll see that you don't have to use the command line. You're installing something like VirtualBox or something that requires privileges. You'll get the challenge and the light would be blinking here. And that will let you know that you uh, the key is working. But again, in this demo, I did not uh, remember to do something like that. So the key is removed, and of course you got your no YubiKey present. We put the key in, we enter our password, and you'll see the light blinking on the YubiKey after I press enter. To let you know to press it. So I'll give it a good squeeze, and we're authenticated again. So the installation and setup of the YubiKey is very easy to do because Yubico has spent a good deal of time putting together a nice document. And in that document, they tell you to get the binaries you need for their product from the Homebrew product 
or our application. This is yet another package manager for the Mac, but it has what you need for Ubico. So we follow the instructions on the site. The Xcode stuff is required, so we have to agree. Let it download all the software. Now for the pseudo stuff. No YubiKey here was asked for, of course, because we're just beginning this setup. Okay, that was painless. So we'll double check brew, make sure the install was clean and happy. So now we'll find the Ubico PDF document, which tells you how to do the installation on a Macintosh. All right, now I've done these steps out of order. Right, the YubiKey personalization tool is what they recommend first. Get your key set up. They tell you to back it up with Time Machine. <clears throat> Xcode is installed already. I'm sorry, Xcode is already installed because the Ruby script will ask to do that. So now we've got to go back to Brew and get the Yubico PAM tools. And those will enable us to set up the rest of the operating system. Copy and paste was not my friend today. So we gotta type this in. There aren't that many binaries, it's pretty quick. Untar a couple things. Now, a step I've already taken care of on Mac OS X El Capitan, the PAM folder is locked and this sudo command will probably not work for you because the instructions mention this later I already did it first so here it's gonna work for me Apple has employed mandatory access controls so you can't write certain folders in El Capitan which is a good thing and um, we'll do a CSR util status So you see I have everything disabled, which allows me to write to that folder. So I'm not sure why it says enabled here. We'll double check, make sure it's there. And since the tab completes, it's there. No need to run the LS. So we move the PAM into place. And that's how you do the CSR util disable. You must boot into your recovery partition, open the terminal, type that in, and then you can actually do the sudo copy that I did. And then once you're done with that, you'll reverse it by doing a CSR enable, CSR util enable and that will allow you to uh, turn your security back on the way it's meant to be. So if you haven't already, you can download the personalization tool from the Mac App Store. You could also use the command line tool if you feel so inclined to do so. I don't need to show you getting the tool, but this is what the screen looks like when you get to the right spot. As I said, they did a good job. There's the command line tool if you need to use that. You should back up your computer 
as there are very few docks to recover. One simple tip is to sudo space su space dash and then open two terminal windows. Leave that one alone. If it doesn't work, you can go back to that window that's already open as root and uh, log in. So now you've got to set up your PAM configuration file, but first we got to make the directory. So with the YubiKey inserted, hopefully copy and paste will work. Yes. Okay. With the key inserted, we will get the PAM configuration file completed. And in the second demo, if you would have had required the button, YK PAM config would have sat there forever waiting for the button to be pressed. You would have had to press it right there. And of course the button press option in Yubico's dock they tell you not to do that. We have to log in and we've got to go to the PAM directories and we basically got to tell the pluggable authentication modules that we want Yubico to be part of the authentication system. So I did the lazy way and did a sudo space su dash where the doc tells you to sudo vi each file. And you can see here we've got to do screensaver. And um, each page lists each file that they want you to do. So we'll go to the PAM folder. And we need to get uh, the information out of 5 here. Alright, so what we're going to do is it says to add this in so I'm going to do another copy and paste here open a line below auth space required I'll paste that and then I'll go back and put required in so this says in the authentication chain we're going to require Yubico to do its thing. The mode is challenge response. It will go to the home directory and look at that file that was created. I didn't show that file. This is really not necessary, but that YubiKey PAM config program put a file in your home directory in the .yubico folder. So it's going to go through that to make sure the key we put in is the right key. And so you have to do this for a couple files and they're all in the guide and so there's no need to spell all those out here they're also on the blog post the link to the blog is uh, in the text of the, this YouTube video upload And the interesting thing is, it's the same line for each file. Which means, you know, it becomes pretty easy to do after you do a couple. Okay, a little uh, double checking there. So now I'll check. See, I, without the button press, this is this is configured without button press. So it's hard to tell whether you got it right. Again, you can always go to var log and look at the system.log. 
and make sure that you have an entry that says Yubico has authenticated. And I knew I forgot one file. 